Okay, so this is going to be another little test of um, Crisis 3 playing on the MacBook Pro Retina display. So I'm just on the menu screen at the moment. I'm just going to show the settings that the game's going to be running at on the uh, MacBook Pro. So the resolution is at 1360 by 768. It's at full screen, obviously. There's no anti-aliasing. Texture resolution, um, I'm going to put that on very high. Uh, system spec, uh, so the general graphic settings are on medium. Um, uh, so... Yeah, so look, it's all on medium. I've got the lowest um, anti dot an any stru I don't even know how to say that. Um, but yeah, the lowest uh, filtering option there. Um, you know, motion blur, medium, lens flares they're on. Lens flares look nice, so they're staying on. Brightness, it's at roughly the sweet spot. Yeah, it's at the sweet spot, really. Um, in the top left hand corner, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but uh, there is a um, temperature temperature meter and also um, an FPS counter. So at the main menu, at the minute we're at 62 frames per second. So but obviously the menu's not that uh, demanding. So you're probably thinking, oh, well if it's at 62 frames per second on the menu, you know, it must be really crap in the game. No, you're wrong. This game actually does perform very well on the MacBook Pro. Um, mostly due to its uh, i7 processor and also the dedicated graphics uh, by NVIDIA which I believe is the GT650M um, that has uh, one gigabytes of video RAM as well uh, so if you're wondering how much you're playing it, um, it is being played on an Xbox controller uh, which is just plugged in, uh, this is also running on uh, natively on Windows 7 Boot Camp well through Boot Camp and um, as you can see um, just let it all load up a little bit um, yeah, we're playing Crisis 3 on a Mac. Well, while running Windows, but it's still playing on a Mac. Um, not something that I thought was possible until now, but, but yeah, as you can see, it's running at the moment over 60 frames per second, and it looks really nice and clear. It's not, you know, it's not a fuzzy image. Um, yeah, it does dip every now and again when loads of, loads of things happen, obviously, as you're going to see. Uh, this is probably uh, one of the better scenes to show uh, for this uh, footage. Because, um, you know, it's quite an open area. Uh, there's lots of things going on. There's loads of soldiers walking around trying to hunt you down. And, um, yeah, so this is um, a great example of uh, how to show what, what this uh, MacBook is capable of. Um, it could, it probably could run at a better setting, um, well, more qu high quality, I, I guess. It, but to be honest, I can't. Um, I do find it difficult to play a game if it's if it's under 30 frames per second. Obviously, yeah, it's dipping every now and again on this, but the majority of the time it is above 30 frames per second. Um, like now, I mean. Even with all that action there, you know, it was at about 28, 32. Uh, but now we're back up to 40s, mid 50s. So, you know, it's not, it's not all that bad, really. Um, considering, you know, like I said in the GTA uh, gameplay video, it's not a gaming machine at all. Um, so, you know, and I'm sure that there are going to be some people saying, oh well, yeah. Yeah, I could have I could have built a more powerful gaming PC or something for the price. But, but this is the thing, um, you've got to think about the form factor of this machine, and then compare it to your uh, PC that you spent two thousand pound on. You know, it's it's more the fact that you know this machine is as thin as my thumb. You know, so you know you can't really compare it to something which which you know you can't exactly carry around with you you know try putting your your desktop with your GTX Titan in uh, in in your bag to college or something like that you know or or when you go to uni um, you know it's just much easier um, for me personally to have uh, a machine that can that can run games you know as you can see it's running it's playing the game um, I think personally this is running better than a better than a console, and it's looking better than a console, and it's not even maxed out. It's at mid settings, so um, you know you've got your gaming machine, you've got 
your computer all in one. Um, and this is uh, what I like about this, really. Um, I do know that, you know, obviously, I could have had a, a gaming PC for this for the price I paid for this, but um, you know, at the same time, I needed a Mac. So, you know, um, I did have the 13-inch Retina uh, display model, um, but the graphics in it. I, you know what? I don't know why they didn't add the uh, the GT650 to the 13-inch Retina. You know, if if they had the 13-inch Retina with GT650 graphics, it would have been absolutely perfect. Um, the i5 and the i7 stuff didn't really bother me that much. It's just the graphics. You know, I paid over over a thousand pounds for a machine, and it had integrated graphics. You know, that just uh, annoyed me a bit. But um, only the 15-inch uh, models have the dedicated NVIDIA graphics. Um, I, I believe it's the same with the non-Retina uh, machines as well. But anyway, I think that pretty much sums up this video. Um, yeah, so like I said in the GTA 4 video, if you're on the edge of buying this machine and you want to know if it plays games, it plays games. Uh, the past two videos that I've shown are probably one of the most, you know, some of the most demanding games on the market. So, you know, uh, GTA 4, known as a poor, really, really crappy port, um, you know, running perfectly fine. Um, You'll be able to see that on my channel, that GTA 4 video on this machine as well. Um, and obviously Crisis 3, you know, it's running right now 50, 52, 53, 55, 60 frames per second. You know, really nice, really, really nice. And it looks great. Even though it's on medium, it still looks great. Um, so yeah, if you're on the edge, you want to know if it plays games, as you can see, it is playing games. And yeah, that is the fan. It does get quite loud. And also, uh, this, the game audio wasn't coming out of the actual MacBook Pro's uh, speakers. It was coming out of the um, of a, a surround sound setup that I uh, that I've got hooked up. Um, purely because you know, if I'm going to play this game um, or any game, I'd just, I'd just rather have it plugged into a you know a nice bassy sound system. So yeah, um, I hope I've uh, helped anybody out that's uh, on the edge of buying this machine. Um, so, yeah, um, if you like to subscribe to the channel, there's going to be some more videos coming out soon. Also, there is going to be some um, benchmarks and uh, gameplay footage of an iMac uh, coming soon as well. Um, maybe the end of next week, sort of, uh, you should expect that. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Probably said that about five times now, but still. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, thumbs up the video as well and uh, comment any sort of suggestions, any recommendations or or any uh, requests for any gameplay that you want to see on the MacBook Pro Retina display and I'll be more than happy to do it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys.